So in this video, we are going to check the reports on, uh, no, it was not report, it was health. All right, yep, the health. So when I was doing this thing, I saw what the other R's and the service health. So basically, it tells you uh, if you have any problem with any of the service uh, of 365. So you see everything green check and you will not know unless somebody actually reports you hey we are trying to access maybe planner or we are trying to access a file from the onedrive so oh skype is there i gotta find the skype now so it means skype is still part in the law in one of the previous video i could not see it so i'm gonna go and find the skype so if you know you will not know so there are a few more tabs that one is the incident critical service issue it will show up here advisories advisories is something like it's a limited like some users might be affected but they have got it and they are working on history is a cool thing that I found something uh, so let's go back and uh, where is this incident advisories where is the so basic everything is healthy you see a, a green check mark status uh compact list no advisories like where is that marker uh what is called so this it was an advisory a minor service issue and this was an incident so basically what happened is on let me make it bigger so on December 10th Microsoft group reports for December were missing some data probably uh, uh, it's clickable so we can check it basically what happened was uh, so it lost update on 29 so it's giving you the start date and then end date so from 10 to 28 this was going on service has been restored that's the status user impact was group reports like so this is like all that what went through you see like they were a view and all of them it's all the information you can read if you have this in your thing and you can view the history would be something like step by step what happened on what day yep exactly so title so this is like the latest update see each one is different than the previous one and finally <clears throat> next update by January and the January 1st it's not there probably it's resolved so this was an advisory but this was was incident which means that it um, affected a great number of users so what happened it started on 28 and they were able to fix it by within three hours download post incident report like if it's a big one you can download a report what really happened and has been published so basically latest messages post incident after the incident our full report has been published so this is a little bit of information they were the user were not able to access the planner so right there say so users may have experienced errors so may have mean that by this time they were done fixing it and you see root cause of configuration error in the affected infrastructure was preventing users from accessing the planner service so they it was a configuration error they did the job and it happened you see December 10 this one was December 20th and then December 24 that was can admin usage reports were missing from the portal so if you click on it it's gonna show you admins so this basically these two uh, were more like a user impact but this one was impacting just the admin source 
good job there um, the it's very detailed and it makes your job easier if you know you can tell your boss if you are the admin office 365 so that's about how you go to the uh, service health you can check and if Microsoft is giving you all green you can first make sure that your user that's reporting it uh, is the only affected one or multiple users then you can actually go and contact Microsoft about that I saw it somewhere like there was a thing that it the funny thing is when I'm poking around I'm I stumble upon so much information and when I'm doing it it's when the vid the previous video is you know um, com compiling or whatever you know it's being published no not published I I forgot um, the term so that basically my software that I uh, use to record video as soon as I click uh, it to export the video and then I'm poking around and see it so I even saw a phone number there that uh, was 1888 number that we can call or I can call for this account so there was a phone number somewhere I don't remember now where I have to find it let's see if I can click it no I think it's good here it means that I cannot report it message center I have a ton of messages let's see if I have any high important message and of course I'm pretty sure everything is unread I'm gonna pause the video find the setting where exactly I saw that you can actually contact Microsoft so I the, I can't find it but uh, I see that this one contacts for something is here so I tried entering just number and then you know I'm in America I can put one there so this is the email address it was already there so I just put uh, like random dot 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 so it put everything here and I, that's not my number my name is 347 so let's delete them so actually I can uh, put uh, my area code and enter number describe my issue and you know t then I can tell them to contact me so I think this is it but there was like something I think that will that uh, when I saw was one of the service was down and I was able to click on it like if this service is not running then I can click on it and then that there, there's a page that you can send a ticket to them to that I'm having this issue please contact me or they give you a phone number that you can actually call and get a hold of somebody I think that was it so that's why I'm unable to get that phone number right now um, other than that the help is right there and or you can give uh, a piece of your mind here yeah. <laughs> give feedback yeah I'm just kidding that's pretty much what it is feedback all right so this is about like service health if this video helped you please rate like comment subscribe and share and you have a good night